So there's something I share with my improv students that I think will help you even outside the context of improv. Ready? Go with me. Hey, there's a dog. The improv note is that specificity kills ambiguity. Say it with me again. It's a mouthful, I know. But specificity kills ambiguity. Let's talk about what that means. There's a dog. So in the context of an improv scene, when you are really specific, things just get um, more engaging. They're more intimate. It's oftentimes funnier. It's definitely more interesting. Here's a very easy example that um, I don't know the science behind this, but it's true. So check this out. When someone's like, hey, pass me the ketchup in an improv scene, uh, that's not really that funny. But when, and probably you're not trying to be funny too, to be fair. But when someone says, hey, pass me the spicy chipotle ketchup, it might get a couple chuckles, but more importantly, it gives you more insight into what kind of person this is. What kind of person would want spicy chipotle ketchup at this business meeting? And it allows you to find more interesting things. It kills the ambiguity of the scene. It brings more specificity. So where does this fit in into your life? Where can you be more specific? Is it with making goals? Is it with uh, asking questions? Is it with um, just regular everyday conversations? Where can you be more specific and how will it help you? Where's that dog?